looks ridiculous. Crash, thank you. It is 633 right now. Two women are now advancing to a runoff in hopes of becoming Atlanta's next mayor. Mary Norwood and Keisha Lance Bottoms pulled out on top. Lance Bottoms with 26% of the vote, Norwood with 21%. And for most of us, this race was called while we were sleeping. Joining me now is Mary Norwood. First things first here. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Grand. Grand. We are absolutely delighted. The sleep factor, how many hours? Three. Three. Okay. So here I am. Yeah, here you are. And one thing I noticed, you're wearing a pin, your, your name tag pin, and you said you pulled it out from the 09 election. It was in a drawer, and as I was looking at through some things, uh, as I was getting ready to run a year ago, I found it. And it is the penultimate recycling. <laughs> I recycle the name badge. Is this the outcome you expected? Yes, we expected to be in the runoff. We are in the runoff. We are very strong all across the city. And so we are very pleased with where we are right now. It's going to be a very energetic four more weeks. Fulton County, again, took a long time to tally the votes. I yes. looked at our newscast around 11 o'clock last night, and only 2 or 3% of the uh, of the precincts had been reporting at that time. I saw you take to the podium around 11 last night. There, were, there it was right there. You seemed frustrated, but okay with calling it a night at that point. What well, would you say about how long it, it has been taking to get these votes tallied in Fulton County? Well, you know, I served on the Board of Elections back in 2012-13, so I, ha I am pleased that they were careful about reporting mm -hmm. because we saw some um, interesting things that happened late at night in 09. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that everything was reported out correctly. Uh, it was a long time. Fulton County is our most populous county in the state. We have an awful lot going on and so... So you were expecting it to go this late? I was. You and were. so I've done this before. Okay. So I know when to go to sleep and when not to go to sleep. Yeah. Last night was a night to go to sleep. No one was going to win outright. We mm -hmm. knew that. So it was just a matter of how many votes for which candidate. You identify as an independent, but in this democratic city, many voters want to know what exactly does that mean? Are there two policies, two Obama policies and two Trump policies that you can say that you support as an independent? I would say this, that I have never joined either political party my views, as they are being measured by independent sources, say that I am a progressive Democrat in my views. I am the inclusive candidate of this city. I, my are there city, any specific policies that you can say I am, I am, are indicative of being an independent? Those pol the policies of the city are different than the policies of the country. When you run a city, you want to run a city that is inclusive, that gives everyone equal opportunity, that protects everyone's rights, LGBTQ rights, Asian Americans, Hispanic Americans, African Americans. So rather than focusing on national policy, I focus on local. What can I do here to make this city better? That is focusing on public safety. That is focusing on traffic and transportation improvements. That's focusing on the redevelopment of the city. Mary, so, Mary any lessons learned from the last time you were in the runoff uh, with Kasim Reed that you're going to apply this time around? Um, I would say that there was a lot that happened in 09, which is why I got on the elections board mm -hmm. and brought in a new elections director. Okay. I will be very interested in seeing the returns from last night and making sure that every single vote is counted, every single person makes sure that their vote and their views are expressed. All right, Mary Norwood, thank you so much and congratulations to you. We look forward to the December 5th runoff. And earlier this morning, Mayor